And today we have a super cool, super awesome, unlimited XP duplication glitch, Bedrock, MCPE, all versions for the win. Hey there guys, Skippy here from Skippy6 Gaming. That's right guys, we are coming from the old school Autocraft Let's Play world. We are in survival mode for now because we are going to show you a glitch. That's right, we are going to duplicate but not duplicate mad items like this. We are going to instead duplicate experience points. Guys, for this one here, let's go for uh, 539 likes. If you are down with the cause, don't forget to hit me up below. Guys, Twitter, always follow me on Twitter and uh, yeah, you'll get notified of stuff like this. I got killed by uh, some pillagers while I was standing there earlier. Yeah, uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, yeah, so we're gonna do dupes. This is, uh, yeah, this world is pretty much uh, duplicationed out of your mind. And uh, yeah, I like it. So, uh, big shout outs. Barnsey Craft is the one who created this. I have not seen Barnsey Craft's video. Uh, I did, however, see Bad Boys tweeted. He did a version of this video and he credited Barnsey Craft. I don't know who Barnsey Craft is, but before I post this video, I will find him and I will link his channel in the description below. And uh, yeah, Barnsey Banksy Craft or Barnsey, I think it's Barnsey Craft. So let's do this. Actually, let's let's double look. It's Barnsey Craft. So yeah, I will get his channel link in the description. You could go there and check him out. But we are going to duplicate XP today. Basically, the process involves you having a nice little setup like this and all you have to do is pull items out of this chest repeatedly and it will constantly give you as much xp as a whole stack so a perfect example is let's do this guys i'm showing you right now zero xp right zero xp we pull out a stack of iron bang you can see we got six levels from that but guess what go in here and grab just one bang two levels you can see that's the amount of XP. So levels 8 to 6 is likely the same amount of 1 to 8. 1 to 6 in the first place. And you can see 2 ingots. Bang. Oh, a whole level and something. So you can see basically what's happening here is one specific ingot is actually giving you tons of XP. 11 levels. This works depending on what you're working with. It could work with chicken as well. Uh, 11. So chicken's not as good though. Not as strong. But you can see it's 12, and now what will happen is even one chicken should bring you up. So you can see, bang, see, all of that from one chicken, and there you go. That's how you do it. Basically, once you have this set up in your base, it's going to be real easy, easy peasy, lemon squeezy, and you'll be able to just pretty much get unlimited XP just by pulling one item out at a time. You could do it with a smoker, with a furnace, or with a blast furnace. This one here, we're just using kelp, but you can see the kelp is not going to really be super OP. You can see we're on level 13, pull this out very little and then when we pull this out so look we're right at the two hearts away from the end and you can see we almost didn't move at all kelp is garbaggio but if you go over here we're at level 13 and we could go ahead and pull this and you can see all the way there there's no way that that many iron gives you a whole level and if you die so let's do this let's dump in here and show you so you can see we have no levels. We come over here and guess what? Three ingots. Bang. Three levels from three ingots. You know that's not real. So there you go, guys. Let's show you how to build this. You can build this in your world very easily. I'm going to go ahead and uh, switch to creative mode here. Let's do this. Default creative. Uh, bango, bingo, bongo. So for this build, you're going to need three hoppers, three chests, and a blast furnace, a smoker, or a furnace. It will work with almost anything. In addition to that, guys, you're going to need... You're going to need six plus five, so you're gonna need 11 stacks of the item, smelted or non-smelted, and then just wait. So you can see, we got iron here, we got five stacks of iron, and we got six full stacks here. Again, you could just use your regular smelter for that, but if you're doing chicken, it's the same thing, guys. You're gonna want a full hopper, and you're going to want that. So let's just go ahead and uh, give ourselves all the items we need. I like using a blast furnace. If you're really wealthy, you can do this with diamonds. And if you do it with diamonds, it actually gives you a lot of XP. And I have a funny feeling that cactus is another one that's going to give you a lot of XP for how easy it is to make it. So uh, let's do this. Let's go like this. So basically, all you have to do is basically put your chest, put a hopper into it, hopper, put your furnace or blast. So we're going to use a blast furnace for this one. Go on the side of it. Put yourself a hopper into it with a chest like this. And then a hopper down into it. Make sure you're crouched hopper and a chest so there you go that's how you do it so first things first we're going to want to clear this out so you're going to want to have fuel right we need some fuel for the fire so we can put our fuel in easy enough 
get this guy going. It's going to fill this guy up. And then what we're going to want is placeholders. So let's go, uh, let's just use course there. It doesn't matter. And you're going to want to fill this whole joint up except for six. So like this. You can use double chests if you want. But long story short is leave six full stacks in here. Bang. So we're going to do, let's say, let's say we're going to do gold. You know, it doesn't matter. Whatever it is, as long as you leave it in there, you don't have to do it again. So you could go ahead and put your gold in your thing, right? Just leave this. This is going to be where you where you smelt your gold, right? You leave it in there. Bang. If you want to do a holder offer on this, what you can do is also use a lever to lock the hopper so it stops filling up at certain points in time. So what we're going to want to do on this one, again, you could do this with cactus, with whatever you want. We're going to want to have 11 gold because we want to make sure that we fill in these guys here. Don't worry if they drain. That's fine. We're going to do these guys here, and then we're going to want to have these six full. Again, uses anything that smelts. Bang. Perfect. Ding, dong, doom. This guy here. Perfect. Fill this guy up. So you can see anything going in now is going to fill these chests. Let's just fill them. Let's let's not mess around. So they're filled. So let's do this. Uh, slash clear. Cleared everything. We're in there. So now let's, let's go ahead and... Uh, Let's go back into survival so you can see what happens here. So the one thing that you're going to have to wait for is you have to wait for this guy to fill. So that's the one tip that I'll give you is a lot of people or even myself when I first did this glitch, the problem that I had that actually screwed it up the most was don't pull it out when it's short. Don't go in and be like, oh, I'm going to pull. So basically what it's going to do is it's going to repeat the XP that it gave you on the last pull. So you want to pull a full stack of gold. You want this to be 64 gold. So we're going to let that, uh, we're going to time lapse that bad boy and let it go out. And we're going to come back when it's 64 gold. Let's pick these guys up and let's just die here. Let's go ahead and uh, kick the bucket. And yeah, so make sure the first one you pull out is full stack because you want to get as much XP as possible. So we're going to respawn. I've already set up my respawn point right here. And we're good. So we have zero XP, right? Zero XP is ready to party. This guy here is going to be filled with gold. Let's go ahead and uh, let's just go ahead and time lapse this guy and let him filled with gold. Okay, so now that that's done, you can see zero XP in. We have a stack in here, right? Easy peasy. So we should get a fair amount of levels. I think the first one was, I think it was over there with iron. It was six levels. So we should get something around there. Six levels. So you're going to see one single gold ingot is going to give us. That's way more. So you can see it's basically giving you a lot more than you're used to getting. This one here, like literally one, two ingots. That's a lot. Two ingots to give you a half a level? I think that's a lot of ingots. So even right here, you could give this one, look, bang, up to 10 levels. And then what we're going to do here is one more ingot. So we had 10. 12. Do you see what I'm saying? Basically, you're going to see the first six levels are super easy. So... I'm pretty sure each level over level 30 is going to be one. So whatever gives you level 30 only gives you one level after level 30. So you can see again, bang, we only have 12 levels exactly four ingots. You know, that's crazy into 13 already. So a level 1.3 levels from four ingots. That's way overdone. So OP, OP, OP. I'm just going to die right here and uh, see if we can't do this and imitate the same exact thing. So I don't even know why I have levels. How come I still have levels? We should be dying here. So I'm going to go back and show you. Let's do this. Let's let the XP burn. So if you go too fast, I guess the XP doesn't burn. So we have no XP. Let's go over here and check this out. Five ingots. Bang. Three levels from five ingots. Definitely super glitchy. Unlimited XP glitch, guys. 
don't forget to smash that like before you go don't forget as well to subscribe to my channel uh i think this is super cool super cool glitch i'm not sure of any other way to do this i'm pretty sure that cactus would be the best bet i know that it's the easiest to get you can hook it up to a zero tick farm uh, and if you hook it up to a zero tick farm you can automatically fill this furnace with cactus if you did the same zero tick farm like the farm i made the other day you could actually do kelp and cactus in the same farm and fuel the furnace into burning the cactus and then it would go 24 seven guys don't forget to smash that like before you go don't forget as well to subscribe to my channel for uh, yeah cool tutorials let's plays and stuff thanks a lot for tuning in and i'll catch you on the next one